Alrighty, guys. So we have one more game here that we're going to be playing. Um, for this playthrough, this is uh, Pokemon Light Platinum. Um, it's another one that I'm just kind of testing out. Uh, this one actually has a lot more than the uh, Ash Gray does as far as content going forward. Uh, I did already get through the naming your character stuff um, and through that mini little thing at the very front where like, oh, you read the rune because only you can read it because your dad taught you this ancient language before he disappeared for the rest of your life, right? Um, <laughs> Pokemon, you know. So I uh, did that and uh, I stopped right here at the, uh, the battle itself um, where we chose our starter. Uh, we chose Charmander. And that is where we are currently at. We chose Charmander because I have no idea what the playthrough is supposed to be like. Um, so yeah, we get to keep the Charmander. Now we go back to our lab. And cool thing, um, when you read the tablet, you meet the champion of this region, but you also meet um, Ash Ketchum, who is the world champion, which I thought was kind of interesting. For all these, nothing. Just explore here. Oh, cool. well, since I put one side, want to take the other kid? Of course, we want to take the other kid. Why not, right? Best research centers in the whole region. I would hope so. And this game has to do with like Arceus. So, change is tied to anything. It's theory because no one's seen it. That uh, entrance. No, no. You always want to check everything out. Oh, I thought he was really just a quick call. I was like. Yo, if you give us a quick call on this early, that'd be sick. I'm always responsible for food, so I try to as well. Oh, I feel like there's going to be something else. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You know your types. Some of them will only evolve and help, like evolutionary stones. Take one. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Uh, so we got a Thunderstone. Um, so that'll be helpful. I wonder if you use like a Thunderstone instead of. Um, anything else. That was our house. We can just move on now to the routes. Um, playing bug catcher here and i think what we'll do here is i'll stop after the first gen um i'm hoping the level grind isn't horrible for this game um who knows right <laughs> i don't even know how about the first gen is so we're gonna find out but uh, that's kind of what i'm gonna do and this will be a uh kind of a weekly uh, series so I'll post maybe two a week of this um, as of the playthroughs uh, each episode will do um, somewhere around 30 to 45 minutes uh, I don't want to make them too long because I know it gets boring after uh, forever uh, so I really don't want to make the episodes too crazy and lengthier um, 
But yeah, so another Pokemon. What do we change? What level is Elekid? I wanna I'm gonna kind of switch between both here just to let both get experience and level up. Uh I definitely four Pokemon too. That's actually really cool for us. You have four Pokemon because uh quick attack's not great, but it's fine. Oh, you have rollout? What? Oh, why is that not that's not cool, man? You'd have rollout. We have a fire and an electric type. Oh, and you have poison point too. Oh my goodness. And rollout's gonna be stronger this turn. Oh, it's gonna take us down. Oh, okay. We still did good, good living. Good living. Okay. Please kill. Oh no. Okay, at least it's paralyzed. So we'll kill it here. This gets allocated battle in. Um awesome. Elekid to level six. Let's just quick attack and see. It, it's tough because you don't want to risk losing something, you know, halfway through training it, but at the same time, you also like. Okay, so we're safe to kill it and then switch. Uh, this gets elegant two levels to level seven this match. So that's really good for us. Elegant levels up to level seven. Um, and the actual XP is not horrible. Let's go. Oh, Charmander has an item. I wonder what that is. Probably a berry, maybe. I would assume it's going to be a berry, but we'll see. Oh. The EXP actually is not bad at all. And we get Ember, which is good for training. Um, level eight. Oh, almost level nine. Okay. Let's see if we can go back to the... Um, Pokemon Story the Heal. Elegant Fainted. Yeah. Got everything to heal, right? Where do you heal at, man? All right, well. Thank God it's not a Nuzlocke, right? Because that would have sucked. Um, man. I really do wish we got running shoes. This is the only bad thing. And this is why a lot of rounds you'll see played with the speed up, just to avoid like the drudging on of this. Uh, and so we're going to have some some weaker Pokemon here, Wurmple. Um, and stuff so that's actually good for us for training purposes here we can just spam a few things which charmander boom is nine all right um i don't think i'm gonna do too much wild level training oh there's pokeball oh and we're stopped short it's a bidoof bidoof Just gonna ember. Okay, potion. Cool. Huh. 
I mean, that was that could have just healed Elegant. Oh, I have no idea. All right. So battle number two. Um, we made it to the first one. We died from poison. I'm kind of tempted to pull up like a walkthrough guide for this. Just, but I don't know. It's kind of fun being blind. Um, if this was a Nuzlocke, I would not play blind now. I hate emulator blind Nuzlocke. They're just rough, man. Like if you've ever played an emulator or like a ROM hack or whatever, Nuzl and you Nuzlocke it blind the first time, it is so rough to do, man. It really is. Like it just, <laughs> it's something else. Cause like, it's like, oh, this guy has a level 72. You know what I mean? Like just insane. And usually the NPCs are a lot better than a normal Pokemon game. So, like, you could do a Nuzlocke on Sword and Shield or, you know, an X and Y or whatever. And they're a lot easier. Like, they really, really are a lot easier than a Nuzlocke in, an, in <coughs> than a Nuzlocke in a ROM. Because the ROMs just, their NPCs are a lot better, you know. And here, cool, cool, cool. Did you faint? Elegant gains 58. Not quite there, but I didn't even look what his item was. What if his item was an antidote? Oh, I'd be so mad. Uh, so we got Electrike here. Um, just going to Ember it. Boom, boom, boom. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. All right, Charmander goes level 10. Blitzel, Blitzel. Why do I feel like Blitzel's an electric type? Right, Blitzel's the uh, the deer. Or not deer, zebra. The zebra, it's a zebra. Right, am I right? Okay. Um, cool, three hit KO. Um, I really don't want to stay in with minus two defense, so I definitely have to switch out now, which sucks. Um, that was fun. Elekid, come on. Oh, Elekid. All right. We're going to leave Elekid in just to get the experience to hit level eight. Hopefully he gets a stab move soon. Um, and that's where, uh, when you're doing like level grinding and stuff, that's one of the most important things is uh, getting a stab as quick as possible, right? Because the damage output matters quite a bit, you know? So Spiro faints there, we get 30 for everybody. Allocate goes level eight, no stab move. Oh man. I don't know what level he gets Thundershock. I feel like he has to get Thundershock. I just don't know where he gets it, you know what I mean? I'm going to use an antidote to cure it. Oh, 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 thanks for that. You going to offer me one or just tell me? That's cool. I was watching you install your Pokemon trainer. I know that Pokemon really like to eat berries, and the best way to get this type of fruit is to use Thief in the small trees. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So, you know, it's a TM that gives you berries. Speaking of berries, let's, uh, is your your bold? Oh, you're holding a moo moo milk. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. There must be a contest in this game. I don't even really remember contests. I didn't really play any contests. Um, that's actually, so if we get Sinnoh remakes, that's gonna be one of my, the fun things to do is uh, get contest ribbon on Pokemon again. Um, because, especially now that like when you send them out, it adds like the nickname or whatever, like the well-trained one or the, the cute one or like different things. So the go back and get contest ribbons to add extra ribbons for them to have to kind of uh, showcase when they go out. That's really cool. So Kirkatoon faints, 
nearly get him to another level. We're just going to leave him in against Caterpie. Um, I just don't want to go up against another uh, another of those Benapede dual team guys, right, man? Because that sucked. Like, <laughs> you've got to hit fat hard to kill those things before they sit there and poison point you. At least Ember is not physical, so I won't be affected by poison point. Um, Elekid to nine. Elekid to nine. Stunner punch. Thank you, Elekid. I knew something was coming. Oh, it is a Venipede. So let's go to Charmander. Um, he has two Mon left. So I'm assuming two Venipedes. Since there's two, three Mons left, I'm assuming two of them are going to be annoying Venipedes. Because Venipede is a stressful Pokemon. Ooh, 273 experience. Nice. Let's use Metapod. Will I change from Metapod? I will go back to Elekid. We'll let Elekid kill the Metapod, and we'll go back to Charmander uh, for the next kill. Um, most likely. Um, it's not going to do a lot, but we're still going to Thunder Punch for the stab. I mean, it's extra damage. Oh. Whoa. What was that, man? Did you see that? It was like weird. It like, hit three times or something. I don't know. Hold on, let's let's see again. <laughs> okay, that was a crit. That that makes sense, man. I was like, how in the world did my Elekid just like one shot Metapod with Thunder Punch of all things? Like it's a beast though, and then I guess we have a little couple levels above it, so that's true. In Central City, there's TV radio station. Oh, okay. So like the Golden Run. Another potion. And I think this is the end of the patch of grass. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm going to counter one more thing here. Um, we'll see what our encounter table is. We know Wurple's here. Eh, I don't think it's that important, actually. Let's just go, to, go down the road. So this is Central City. Um, I will attend the University of Inhorner. Inwar. In it's very big and beautiful and offers many different fields of study. That's kind of cool. Um, I didn't talk to this old guy. Let's see here. How are you doing, sir? Do you have you see you obtained an ultra ball? Oh, yo. That's what's up. That will really help us uh, for catching something. Just in the beginning. Um, just keep talking to people. My favorite is resilience. Um, train station. So we probably can't do much with the train station. Cowboy clothes in the latest fashion. So being a cowboy is fashionable. She's not one of, well, I mean, I guess she would be one of the best because she's not the best because apparently Ash is world champion. I really want to face whatever team Ash is rocking, man. Ooh, a Shinx. What's going here? It's eye catching. It means something. What do we got? I think you can find a use for this. Obtained an amulet coin. More money, more problems. Amen. Let's go. Uh, do, 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 do. Pokemon Center, that's a route. We don't want to go to a route yet. Where are we at? Where are we at? What are we doing? Who are you? You tell us like something. They have this capacity train certain Pokemon. <gasps> yes. Oh boy, a Growlithe. I mean, it's our second fire type, but. I'm curious. Does it intimidate? 
Oh, it is Intimidate. Oh, ho, ho. No, I kind of wish I picked uh, a different Pokemon. You know what? Whatever, whatever. There's gonna be a Pokemart somewhere. I think he'll be used for something. Same with TM. Contains Focus Punch. Ooh. Pokemart, this is where we needed to go. We need Pokeballs. Let's hope they're not overpriced in here. How may I serve you? Bye. Ooh, nothing. Um, I guess let's buy a few antidotes just because of, uh, you know. Yeah, let's not die from poison again. Um, okay, uh, I saw a building up here. It was kind of cool looking. Um, that's something to do with the radio station. What is this? Safari? No. No way. Welcome to the Pokemon Safari Zone. You can go one of two different environments. Ice or desert? We're going ice. You need to use Safari Balls. 30. Oh my gosh, that was worth the money. Hold up, hold up. Because, like, All right, come on, ice type. Who do we got? Who do we got? We got a Snover. I mean, I'm just gonna throw the balls, right? I don't think it matters too much. Okay, so we caught Snover. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. What else can we get here? Can we fish now? Let's go. Oh. Different, like, is there items in this safari zone here? I don't think so. I don't see any items. Wonder what all snow run. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. If this has moody, if I can get a moody Glalie, that would be so epic. We're just, we're just looking. I still want, what ice type do I want? Man, I need to go make $500 so I can go down the, uh, the desert too. This is actually really sick, to be honest with you, that they have like, the safari zone so close to the uh, the entrance. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely the one I would keep on the team. I mean, talking getting a mammal swine and then pill swine that would be so so epic. Ah, uh, let's um, so you pokey block. I don't have a pokey block. What? I just I gotta just throw balls and go near ya. Um, we'll throw one more and then we'll try to go near. Oh, damn. Let's just keep looking. That's how it's in the encounter table. So there's more room up there. So we'll go up there. We want to catch whatever we can here, you know. Um, another snow run. I'm not going to catch. Oh, oops. I was just about to say, I'm not going to catch dupes of anything just yet because, I mean, I don't think we need to, but I guess it's fine. Someone's watching carefully. I'm not worried about it. Let's leave. I don't see a step counter, so I'm assuming we're not. Okay, Smoochum, all right. I got one baby Pokemon. I could add you to the list, you know, pair you and Alec together. Oh, apparently not. <sighs> hmm. There's guns of balls. Hmm. I'm talking about so that kind of I guess cancels out some of the safaris on the very beginning issues, um, because without pokey blocks, probably some of these are probably a little difficult to catch. Um, oh man! Okay, we're gonna go near you again. You're still watching. Okay, now let's try ball.
There's got to be something better than this fucking smoocher, man. So, that's not my cup of tea. I'm not loving it. Um, all right, so back here, we saw a lot of stuff. Um, got your grass there. A couple benches, someone we could talk to right here. So it's not that big, the safaris type zones, but that's probably why it is already separated in types. Yeah, okay. I think we can leave the safari zone soon if I don't get another encounter with what I really want. Um, I really want that, a mammoth one, but I'm assuming the box is going to be very annoying to catch. Okay, okay, we got one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hold the B buttons, guys. Hold the B buttons. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you're kidding me. Let's try a ball again. I mean, it, it was like right there. Make sure you press down that B for me, team. Two, three. All right, we can officially leave the ice zone. I mean, I we still have Smoochum on the encounter table here, but uh, I'm not really worried about finishing off the encounter tables. I'm just going to check out what's here. Can I leave now? Yes. Oh, I have time left. So you are keeping time. Okay. Interesting. Was, so what was this building? Oh, this is a contest hall, I think. Welcome to the hall. You have two part mini contests. Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. We got a contest pass. So we can participate in contests. Um, I'm not really worried about doing a contest right now. Uh, I think we're fine to just move on. Um, we have one Ultra Ball. Um, there is a Pokemon Center. So we're going to come in here, uh, and I am going to put some of these Pokemon I do not really plan on using into the Pokebox. We're going to deposit Snover and Snowrunt. And we're going to call it a day. Yeah. I'm going to keep Growlithe on me just for now. Um, you must be careful in this route. They're very strong wild Pokemon that will attack you. Hey, you don't go. It has too many strong and dangerous Pokemon. Okay. So let's just go the other direction and see if we see a route. Um, I think it is cool. I mean, that's two gift Pokemon already. Okay, here's the ride it looks like. Um, oh, we got something here. Super Potion, all right. Magikarp and Feebas. Oh, wonder if you still evolve Feebas with the... Uh, Was it Deep Cell 2 or whatever it was? Let's go. I'm gonna get um, Ella Kid and Charmander to level 15 or 16 um, here. And then I'll probably go back and well, then I'll start working on um, Ralph.
and uh, our swine up. Um, name was slipping me, but yeah, I'll start working on them after I get them to like 15 or so, maybe 16, just so trauma intervals. Um, because we know their encounter table, we know it's about to slow down. Blitzel again, electric type, so we'll go quick attack here. Thunderwave. How am I affected by Thunderwave? Why? Why would electric type be paralyzed? That is so lame. Ha! Huh. What you get? Quick attack. Boom. Okay. Spiro. Okay, wow, this is a perfect battle, honestly, for Alicad. And think of this. This is a gift Pokemon. Like, how cool is it that you get such a boss Pokemon gift? Like, before you leave your hometown, man. Like, you literally pick your starter, she flies your lab, and then boom, there's an Alicad just chilling there for you to steal or take or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just awesome. So he said there's Feebas and Magikarp on this route. So I kind of want to... Is Professor Oak and Gold? What? See, Kenta, Feebas are in season. They appear by thousands at this time of year. Although they are brave, they rarely attack people and rarely appear at other times. Very interesting, Professor. Thanks for the tip. I think I'll try and catch one. Oh. I think they about to attack, Professor O. <laughs> you might have been a little wrong there with your research, my man. Amazing. I fall in love with these Pokemon. I'll catch one right now. Go, Pokeball. I want Pokeball. I want to capture things. Do I have Pokeballs? Maybe the professor gave me one. Oh, I'm going to save you, Oak. Do -do 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 do 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 Oh, it's walking me for me. Cool. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Level three. I can't really attack it with as much that I have. Let's switch to Swine Up. Just trying to do a little bit small damage. I don't want to do anything crazy. I just want to do a little bit. Do I have any Pokeballs? What Pokeballs do I have? I have one Ultra Ball. Is it worth an Ultra Ball to catch Feebas? I mean, I, I could use a water type. And we don't know how to evolve it yet. I'm assuming because it's a ROM, it might be a water stone, I would assume. Because I'm pretty sure they're just going to make anything that evolves from like trading or whatever a stone evolution now. Oh, Kenta is his nephew. Is Kenta gold? Because Kenta looks a lot like gold oak. I need some answers. Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> All right, so we got a water stone. So we're going to see now. Like I said, I would assume it would be. That's just a cute poison. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes! That, that's what's up. All right, so we have my low tick for our team. Yo, I'm actually cool with that, man. My low tick is powerhouse to get so early. So we get my low tick. And we still haven't even faced one gym leader. Oh, my gosh, this is insane. This is just insane, man. Um, let's go ahead and use one of our potions on uh, you... Let's go ahead and use another one on my Lotic and use one on Elicate there just to heal everybody up to full health. Um, I'm going to do some, I'm going to see if these two people battle me. And if so, I'm going to switch train um, to my Lotic just a couple levels. 
no, no battle there. Okay, someone's got a battle. This guy battles. You battle, you battle. Awesome. Growlithe isn't doing a lot here, but Growlithe was my switch train, so I'm okay with that. All right, let's just finish Growlithe. Um, now we will go to Charmander. Uh, I'll probably just swap between him and Charmander. Um, I don't really want to get anything else hurt. But I do have an antidote though, so. Okay, you just hardened. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, um, it goes a little four. Charmander. Your level 12. Next, we'll use Stunky. We switch, yes. Any Pokemon does this guy have? <laughs> Oh, it's so cool to have my loaded with your first gen battle, man. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna tag team between you two for a minute. I think so. I do think now I'm supposed to go back to the professor's lab. Oh, and we get to burn. Okay. Trust me. And my line got wrap. Shanks, yes. Oh, shoot. I hit now. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, you, Charmander. You don't want to share. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to go back down to the professor and uh, discuss with. And the whole thing that she found in one of the shop and everything. So we'll go down there. Uh, maybe that's how I get my Pokeballs. Because I need to buy Pokeballs. I mean, you know, like there's a lot of good Pokemon in this game. So like, I kind of don't like. Darn. Okay. I see you using strats out here. I see you using the strats now. You go. Sorry. Strats work great, but they don't work a lot. Again, there's the singles. Oh, no, whatever. Um, all right. So that should be his last. I think that was the last. Yeah. Charmander gains. Oh, so close to 14, Charmander. So close. You almost had it. 160 for winning. Uh -huh. And let's go back and down to the river. I want to run. Uh, they better give me running shoes soon because this is so sick. And tiring and boring. And ugh. So we know there's a radio station right there. So we're going to remember that for later. That's probably very, it's important, I feel like. Right, because like if Oak's in the game, there's a radio station in the game. 
that radio station is probably a good place to go and find out after the fact and maybe do something. Nothing. Okay. Is there a jumper? There's not a jumper. All right. No encounters. No encounters. Let's go. Come on. To the, come on. Oh, nope. It's a warp. It's a warp. Melodic. Oh, actually, wait. Yeah, you're at the level. Oh, no, not splash. Not splash. Crap. I'm trigger happy. I don't know. Yeah, so I think I am going to pull up a guide just as far as reference points for what events where um, and gems and stuff, just so my videos aren't too long for you guys. Uh, but this is cool. This is actually good. Um, so my Lonic will get his whole, his own XP. Oh, you missed. You can't miss my Lonic. That's how you lose. Maybe I'll teach my lock thief. I don't know. Why not, right? I had another team too. I forgot both focus some or focus bunch, yeah, something like that. And do, 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 rap should kill you. Yes. Alright, cool. A lot of gain levels, but not enough. Here we go to the yellow river. Do, 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 do. All right, back to the professor's house here. And oh, all right, professor, I told him for you. Give me Pokeballs. Oh, here he is. All right, so I pulled up a guide um, just to kind of understand where we're at and how far we still have to go. Um, so we still have a couple of routes before our first gen. And, uh, we're at, I don't even know, right a while. Yeah. So we still have a couple of stuff to do before gem number one. Uh, so I think I'm going to end the recording here um, for part one, uh, but I'm still going to literally turn right back around and record part two today as well. Uh, but just this way we can uh, separate them um, into two videos. So I'm going to end this, this right here, guys. Uh, I will record part two. Uh, this will be a two part finale. Um, I will premiere uh a few of the episodes throughout the week um like i said i'm gonna break them up so it's not too crazy i don't want to do too much that's why i did pull up a guy just to see how far we are to like a gym or whatever which it, it's a while so we're gonna end that right there so let's uh stop the share and